Many thanks for joining us again on the newsroom. I am Mary Kanu. The death toll from the clash between terrorists and the Yansakai group in Bakar local government area of Katsina State has risen above 100. This figure comes shortly after Governor Aminu Masari sent a delegation under the leadership of Secretary to the State Government, Muntari Lawal, to condole with families of the victims. Residents of the affected communities put the number of those killed at over 100, revealing that more corpses are being recovered from the area as some persons in the communities are still missing. President Muhammad Buhari says those who killed several travelers, including 16 Nigerians in Burkina Faso, will be appropriately sanctioned. A number of Nigerian Muslim pilgrims were on their way to Kwa Olak, Senegal, when the buses conveying them came under a gun attack in Burkina Faso. Meanwhile, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs through the Nigerian Embassy in Burkina Faso says it is engaging with the Burkina Bay authorities to ensure that the soldiers who allegedly shot and killed the Muslim pilgrims are prosecuted. And to politics, 13 out of the 18 political parties in Nigeria have threatened to withdraw from the February 25 and March 11 general elections in Nigeria over the Naira redesign policy of the Central Bank of Nigeria. At a briefing by a coalition of chairmen of political parties on Monday, the 13 parties commended President Muhammad Buhari on the redesign of the 200, 500 and 1,000 Naira banknotes. The parties, however, said they will not be interested in the elections if the new deadline of February 10, 2023 is shifted as demanded by some governors of the All Progressive Congress. An American business magnate Bill Gates has addressed theories linking him to COVID-19 conspiracies. In an interview with the BBC, Gates defended his support and funding of vaccines, saying that he thinks money invested in a life-saving measure is better spent than money that finances the prospect of humans traveling to Mars while referencing Elon Musk's SpaceX plans to colonize the planet. Gates, whose foundation has donated large sums to development of vaccines, told the BBC that he did not expect the backlash, but understood that anti-vaxxers were looking for a boogeyman. In business, the Director General of the Nigerian Association of Chambers of Commerce, Industry, Mines and Agriculture, Shola Obadimu, says the Central Bank of Nigeria should have introduced a 5,000 Naira note rather than redesigning the old notes. Obadimu, who made the statement in an interview on Monday, said while the new policy on the Naira was laudable, there would have been less pressure on the masses if it was done differently. According to him, introducing a 5,000 Naira note would have mopped up the money in circulation without creating so much discomfort for Nigerians. And on the global scene, the European Mediterranean Seismological Centre has confirmed that a second earthquake of at least 7.5 magnitude <clears throat> beg your pardon, has hit Turkey again, raising the death toll to more than 1,300. The earthquake comes as the Middle Eastern country is experiencing a snowstorm that is expected to continue until Thursday. Turkish President Recep Erdogan says rescue teams have rescued over 2,400 people from under the rubble of buildings flattened by the quake, the worst to hit the country in 100 years. <clears throat> And now in sports, Manchester City have been charged by the English Premier League for flouts in financial fair play rules. This comes following a four-year investigation into sponsors and contracts. A statement from the league said alleged breaches were committed across nine different seasons beginning in September of 2009 to 2010 and 2017 to 2018 and will now be referred to an independent commission. Reports have suggested that there are multiple charges against the club which could include possible points deduction. Well, that's the latest from the newsroom. Join us again for more updates. Thank you for watching.